Hello, uh, my name is Jose Leon. I'm going to show you an early preview of uh, the next release of uh, Delphi for PHP. Uh, the very first thing uh, you notice is the loading speak. For example, this is the ID and it's fully loaded. And as you can see, it's very fast to load. This was uh, one of the goals of uh, this version. So it can be used as a sim simple text editor. You see, it's working very fast. Okay, so now let's see. This is the ID uh, when it's open. And as you can see, we have here the uh, standard uh, welcome page that you can find find on uh, Radar Studio 2010. So uh, you can use it for your projects or read news. So uh, the look and feel is very much the same like uh, Radar Studio. Uh, there are many things that are uh, exactly the same. So it's very hard to distinguish between uh, both. In this new version, uh, there are details like, for example, customize the new menu and uh, the repository that has the search uh, capabilities. So, uh, what we have tried with this version is to fill the gap between uh, Delphi for PHP 2 and Rad Studio 2010. So, the ID is exactly the same. The reason to have a, a a separate product uh, and uh, to not use Rad Studio 2010 is because uh, this is uh, lighter and, and faster to load. Uh, things like the uh, reopen and customize the reopen menu are implemented. And uh, let's create, for example, a new form. At this moment is when the uh, PHP components and the PHP engine is uh, started. So, uh, if you are not going to, to use the visual part, there is no need to do that. That's why uh, this version is uh, faster to load. The design area uh, has been uh, en enhanced with the rulers at the top and, and the left, and also it's uh, easier to resize the uh, working area, in this case the page. The components now resize leaf, this is a bitmap, okay, but uh, is better than the, the previous uh, version where you get a rubber band. We also have improved the speed of uh, rendering a bit. Let's see the options, uh, for example here uh, uh, we have the format source in the same way Radar Studio. The find option is like in Rad Studio 2010. Okay. Also, you have the ID inside, and you can type almost anything. Mm, for example, color. Okay. It works uh, exactly the same. Now let's see, uh, for example, the, the project manager is a complete copycat of uh, the Rad Studio 2010 one. Here is the Data Explorer. In the back windows, we have the breakpoints. We are going to close everything and, and debug something. Uh, new items, form. And now we are going to step by step this form. Save it. This is the browser starting the debugger. The debugger now is xdebug, which is uh, a lot better than in the previous version. And we can go step by step. It is very fast. Here we have the color stack, local variables with all the items global variables, you see, and I'm going to keep the F7 key uh, press, so you can see it's very very fast, okay? 
uh, another thing is that you can uh, for example close uh, all page uh, open while debugging so this is very handy let's uh, stop the debugger we can uh, also the profiler has been greatly improved we enable the profiler and then run our application okay now it's finished and the ID opens the results of the profiling and here you have you have line by line overall and you can sort by almost anything to check how many calls how much time okay this is because of the xdebug which uh, shows all that information which is uh, a lot better than in the previous version close this one, disable debugger the components and things like that are very much the same so there is not anything new here here we have for example the um, mm, now let's open a new file an existing file for example uh, this one you can pass the mouse over any function and you get the PHP uh, help beautifully formatted this is also used for the code inside and this is exactly this is this works exactly the same like in RAD Studio so this is uh, are the options dialog for example the tool palette now has colors and there is a lot of uh, new uh, features and new options for uh, customization and here for example this is the we can use the auto collapse you see there's only one open and um, well uh, uh, another thing is for example the, the classic desktop this uh, this is one of the reasons we have been uh, we work in a lot the ID you can have the the old system uh, and also for example default IO you can have the uh, classic palette new form and it works like the old one okay so this uh, is only an, an overview of uh, what we are working on and on the next post and the next videos uh, I will get deeper on every feature so you know in advance how, how it works I hope you like it <laughs>